Let's solve a very interesting problem. We're told that a function satisfies the equation f of f of x equals x squared minus x plus 1. And our goal is to find the value of f of 0. Our strategy is to evaluate it at specific points. Let's break this down step by step. To start, we evaluate at x equals 0, which gives us the following. Similarly, we evaluate f at x equals 1, which also equals to 1. So now we know two things. f of f of 0 equals 1. f of f of 1 equals 1. These look surprisingly similar, and that's a hint. 0 and 1 keep popping up, so let's try evaluating the expression at those very values as inputs. Here, we use the structure of the problem to our advantage. Because the function is nested, we too will plug in nested values. Now we are going to plug in x equals f of 0 to get our expression as follows. But the left side is just f of 1, so we can do some simplifying here. And now, we have a relationship between f of 0 and f of 1. But that alone isn't enough, because we still don't know either of them. Naturally, our next step is to evaluate the nested expression again, this time at x equals f of 1. Move everything to one side. And we notice here that this expression is simply the perfect square of f of 1 minus 1. So eventually, we're led to this solution, f of 1 equals 1. Now, if we plug this solution in the first equation, simplify like so, and factor, then we get two possible solutions, f of 0 equals 0, or f of 0 equals 1. Now, here comes our bone of contention, and we'll use a visual to understand it. We know that a function must always send one input to one unique output. It cannot do this. It cannot split into two arrows, so only one of the two algebraic solutions can actually be valid. So let's check. If f of 0 equals 0, then f of f of 0 equals f of 0, which is equals to 0. This is contradictory because earlier we proved that f of f of 0 equals 1, so f of 0 equals 0 is impossible. That leaves us with the only valid solution which is that f of 0 equals 1. So yeah, that's the key trick when dealing with nested functions. If finding a full formula for f of x seems impossible, try evaluating the nested functional equation at special points. That's it for today. If you liked our approach to this problem, do leave a like and subscribe for more such videos.